Merry Christmas, everyone. And the best way to feel fine is to have some mild wine. So today, let's review the IKEA Winter Saga Mild Red Wine. Hey there, Merry Christmas once again, SG Alcohol Guy here giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. As mentioned, today I'll be trying mulled red wine. And to understand what is mulled red wine, it's simply uh, a red wine that has aromas added to it. And when I say aromas, it's usually um, cinnamon, it's usually some orange slices and some you know, star, cloves of star anus. And then you mix them into regular red wine, normal red wine. But then you bring it to a slow simmer over you know, a couple of hours. And the resulting flavor is then mild red wine. In this case, I got a bottle of it from IKEA, which is an aromatized wine-based drink. So they've already added the flavors into this red wine. Because the ingredients are 90% red wine. The remaining 10% is sugar, natural flavorings, and of course, preservatives. An interesting thing about mild wine is that it can be served either chilled or warm. But before I get to the flavor, this bottle of IKEA Winter Saga mild red wine uh, costs $17.50 Singapore dollars. For that, you get a typical 750 milliliters wine bottle uh, with 12% alcohol content. And of course, my lovely wife actually gave me a beautiful bottle opener, an electronic bottle opener, so I don't have to use any effort for, you know, a typical cork-based bottle. But this is a screw cap. So, I will be testing this chilled first. I, I just took it out of the chiller. Following that will be a warm review of this malt red wine. The moment I open it, I can smell some flavors from this bottle. It's not even a wine scent. It's a very sweet, uh, I would say a sweet fruity scent coming from this bottle. Nothing wine based whatsoever. But let's see. Color wise, it looks no different from a normal red wine. Uh, it does come across as a little bit lighter, but you know, it looks like a normal red wine. And as you swirl the wine, what you like to do is to see how long it takes for the wine to come down the sides of the glass. In this case, it's only now just starting to come down and it's moving down really, really slowly. This is a very good indication that it's going to be a nice long finish for this wine. Sense-wise, <laughs> do not nose malt wine like that. Um, the, 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 <laughs> the spices, the cinnamon is very overpowering. I'm actually being choked by it right now. Uh, the scent is way too strong for that. So, I'm gonna skip the scent because it just smells like spices. Chilled taste test. I can't taste the wine. Um, I, I know it's there somewhere. You know, it, it briefly pokes his head out and, and, and says hello, but it disappears, you know, almost like a like a mold game. I can only taste the spices. You know, there's this star anise um, spice that's used in a lot of um, Asian cooking as well. I'm tasting that. There's that breath of cinnamon uh, all, all over in my mouth. Hint of citrus, but I can't taste the wine. Um, it's a very sweet drink, mind you. I think uh, it got reduced a little bit from, the, from when they infused these flavors in. It got reduced a little bit, so it's a very, very sweet drink. This is an excellent dessert wine that you can serve chilled. And now, let's have it warm. 30 seconds will do. And 
this is the reheated malt wine. By heating it up, the spices <laughs> seem to have gotten cooked and <laughs> they are a lot more pronounced. I didn't even have to take a, a nice long breath. I didn't even swallow the cup a little bit. I just put my nose here. Poof, the smell just came up. So if you want to have a malt wine scent in your room that I'm pretty sure will linger, heat it up. Warm malt wine taste test. Having it warm is probably the real reason why malt wine was created. The taste is soothingly pleasant. I'm really happy drinking this. And it warms you up all the way. It's not just because it's a warm drink. It's a warm alcoholic drink. And it really warms you up to the point where I have my air conditioning on. Uh, it's a rainy day today. I'm wearing pretty thin clothing uh, because it, it is Singapore warm weather. And the moment I had a sip of this, I'm starting to perspire to the point I need to take off this Christmas hat soon. So what I can say is that this is a very comfortable, relaxing drink to have the moment you're feeling cold. It's probably not going to feel so comfortable if you're in a, a warmer climate like I am. But I will tell you that if you want to have a nice Christmassy feel, to have that warm and, and comfortable, soothing, joyous feel in the comfort of your own home, mild red wine is an awesome, awesome drink. I'm feeling warm, but I don't think I can drink the cold one anymore. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are my personal taste preferences and opinions, not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to know what you think of this mulled red wine. If you've tried any mulled wines, drop me some comments, let me know. Let's compare some notes. I want to find out more. And if you're still here, do have me click on the like button, the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. Do help me share this video as well if you know of somebody who will you know, enjoy watching these reviews. But most importantly, my friend, Merry Christmas and happy drinking.